Hey everybody, Reef Girl here, and welcome to my channel. Let me explain what I meant when I said, things I haven't shown you. What you're looking at here is Amothia's garden, the Red Sea Reefer XL425, as it appeared in August of 2017. This comes from my Instagram account, which I set up in June of 2017, and shortly after I set it up, I started putting corals in this tank. In October of 2018, I added another tank called Mollywood, and that's where I keep mollies in salt water. Recently, I was looking through a lot of those old posts on Instagram, and it suddenly hit me. They tell a story in very short bits and pieces of what it's like to have a reef tank or reef tanks, and very few of them have ever been shown on YouTube. I have put a few at the end of videos, kind of as a reward for people watching right through. But other than that, they really haven't been seen. So I decided to create this video, all made up of a compilation of those Instagram posts. I've included a timeline so you can watch for growth. You'll see amazing changes in this tank. Some good, some not so good. Part of this took me through tank crashes, and seriously, some of it made me feel physically sick to have to go back and revisit that. But it's part of reefing. It's what we all deal with on a daily basis when we have something as unique and beautiful as a piece of the ocean in our homes. Sounds like a cliche, but really it isn't. So I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy.
to be very, very careful plugging that thing in after my water change is done. away from the war coral because I think the green rouse has been messing around over here again. Upside down, cleaning the algae off of a snail shell. <laughs> Teaser. Here's how the tank looks under the new lights. There is my Halloween hermit crab. I've not seen this guy in weeks. <music> right up to today. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of what reefing is like. <laughs>